What's up, everybody? It is time for the January collection. I'm doing this handheld. I don't have a lot of time today, so I've already actually pre-counted everything. And we're going to go through it. So, these first finds are my foreign and wheat penny. So, there's my wheat penny. 1946. Let's turn that over. Not bad condition. I got a Canadian penny, a Euro cent, and something from Aruba. So that's not as much as I used to, I found in the last couple, at least the last month. But the real pieces are over here. All right, so big quarter finds this time around. We got $2.50 in quarters. Last month, we only got 75 cents. So this obviously is going to help our average because, spoiler alert, we did bring in more than last month. Then we moved to the dimes. The dimes were brought in $2.30. Um, this is the exact same as last month. So I'm on the same, I'm on the same path for the dimes as I was this last month. The nickels, I seem to hit a nickel streak this month. Um, I think almost every day at one point for a string of days I found a couple nickels. But we brought in a um, dollar ten in nickels. I think last time it was only like 55 cents. So um, increase there. Then we're gonna go to our copper pennies. Now why again am I separating these copper pennies? That's because I need to get up to a pound um, and then I'm going to try to sell the pound of copper because some people do hoard copper pennies. I may be able to sell them on eBay. Good thing for you guys is I do have more than a pound from our previous finds so I'm going to try to put these on eBay this early this uh, upcoming month and we'll see what we can do. I will uh, document the entire thing um, and see if we can make some money on that. Lastly, are all of our normal pennies. A lot were in rough shape this week or this month. Um, we got uh, 169 in pennies that were not copper. So that brings us to a grand total for the month of $8.10 there. I don't really, now uh, the wee penny does count in that factor. And I don't really count these, um, these uh, foreign coins. I do keep them in a container, um, which I have here. Here's all my overall containers. So. Put the foreigns, put the rest of the foreigns. I got this cigar holder for my wheat pennies. I'll slide that guy in there. All my zinc pennies. We're almost up to five dollars if we're not. Our, no, we're definitely over five dollars. Let's get these guys in there. Very gravel. Partially doing this one handed as well because my tripodish rig broke. So now I gotta actually get a decent tripod for my phone or something that I can stand this up and not have to do this one-handed. Okay. Now, all my zinc pennies. It should only need 
114, I believe, for a pound. I'm going to put it on the screen if I'm wrong. And if I'm right, I'll still put it on the screen. Um, so I definitely have more than that. So I would say I'll start filming the video of my journey to try to sell a pound of pennies. Don't know when it's going to go up because I want to be able to actually finish the transaction and put some numbers together. This is all my non-penny coins. See? And the couple dollars I found. So, in these go. So there's everything I got. Um, this is going to put us over $30 found. Um, last month's um, interest should earn us uh, an extra three cents. So I will put the total somewhere in here on how much we will currently have after I add all of this week's fines into the savings account that again, currently earns 1.7% interest and our goal is to see how long it will take us to get to a thousand dollars by finding money and then selling any valuable coins that we have um i'm in a very busy schedule this upcoming week or this upcoming month someone asked me if i would should do these weekly these cleanups weekly that's a good idea um, i just don't have the time this month so we'll see what we can do. The other thing is, I may have some silver in here. I haven't done a check of these. So that will be an upcoming video to see if I have some silver coins in here. And if I do, bundle them up, try to sell them. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I'm also on uh, Twitter as well. So give me a follow there and hope to see you next time. Bye.